Moomoo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about writing one-step equations from word problems. And I have found the easiest way to write a one-step equation is to find the solution first and then write the equation. So you're kind of working backwards. So here, here are the steps, and then I'll go through a couple examples. First, you identify the numbers you're going to use from the word problem. Next, identify the operation needed to find your answer, the solution. Then you solve the problem, and this is your solution. Now we're going to write the equation. Again, we're kind of working backwards. We'll start by writing your variable, and let's use x, and then write the inverse operation of what you did to find the solution, the opposite of what we did here, and then you will fill in the number from the original problem in the equation. Now, this is very important. Your solution should never be included in your equation because that's the variable you're looking for. So let's work two examples, okay? So, sample number one. It says, Zach did 102 sit-ups at the end of the month. This was six times as many sit-ups as he did that he was able to do at the beginning of the month. How many sit-ups sit was Zach able to do at the beginning of the month? Okay, so we have 102 sit-ups at the beginning, and this was six times, okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is find a solution. And I know to find the solution, this 102 is six times what we could do at the beginning. So I'm going to take 102 and divide it by 6. And if you do the math on that, that is 17. Okay? So I have my solution. My solution is 17. I'm now going to write the equation. I'm going to start with x. In this, I use division, so I'm going to use multiplication. Okay? And then I'm, I know that my answer, the final was 102, so I'm going to set 102 over there, and then I'm going to place the 6 over here. And, you know, if you solve, to solve for the x, you would divide by 6 and divide by 6 here, so that gives you x is equal to 17. Now, if you still are a little confused with that, what you can do is add one step. You can go ahead and write the solution first, times 6 equals 102. And 2. And you can see 6 times 17 times 6 is 102. And then what you do is just take out the 17, and that gives you x times 6 equals 102. So let me recap. We found the solution. Then we first wrote down x, did the opposite operation, and then used the numbers given from the problem. And I plugged in the 6 here and the 102 on the other side. Let's work, look at another example. Okay? Drew's height is 17 inches less than Angela's height. Drew is 55 inches tall. Write and solve an equation. Okay, so Drew is 55 inches tall, but he's 17 inches less than Angela. So I need to add 17 to Drew to get Angela's height. And uh, 55 plus 17 is 72. So I know my solution is 72. Okay, so first thing I do is, I'm going to work it different this time. I'm going to go ahead and write the solution down. I'm going to do an opposite sign. We did addition here. I'm going to do now an, op an opposite operation. I use subtraction here. So 72 minus 17 equals 55. And then all I have to do is add one step and put x minus 17 equals 55. And there's your equation. Again, I solved it, did the opposite operation, uh, put in x for the solution, and then plugged in my numbers. I hope that helps with writing uh, one-step equations from word problems. And remember, Moomoo Math uploads a new math and science video every day.